I don't know if they can. Uh, just put it on the ground. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Woo! Congratulations. It's so great to see all of you in person, and uh, we're so glad that you're here, and we are grateful for this chance to gather together and celebrate. We have a short uh, time together with you where we will do some, uh, read some scripture and offer some blessings and present some gifts. And then when we're done with that, we will uh, invite uh, those who have lined up to drive through and celebrate with you. And you're welcome to uh, take pictures with each other or whatever you would like to do as we end this time. But we really appreciate your being here. And everyone looks so good in person in your masks. Who would have ever imagined six months ago that we would be gathered like this? Uh, but it is great to be together. So I think we will begin if everyone is ready. Can everyone hear me okay also? All right, here we go. We welcome you. Graduates, we would, oh, I think we are already here, so. Okay, no, we're not, sorry, I've, I've, I've got it, okay. Um, so each of the graduates, we would like to, you to, do we, and we have dots for everyone. Um, come forward as you're comfortable and find one of your uh, colored dots to stand on if the graduates want to come forward as a group and you can stay remain six feet apart but space out into the dots Tina, you can stand on the yellow one because it's closer to me yeah. Yeah, right yeah. so i think you start here megan and then yep all right all right pastor katie Dear friends, life presents us with various significant milestones that set the stage for the next phase of our earthly journey. Graduation from high school is one of those milestones. Today we wish to honor those who are moving through this special time of accomplishment, transition, and change, and to show them that we, their community of faith, stand with them and support them as fellow believers in Jesus Christ. Hawk and Anderson, Kurt Borcherding, Chris Guala. When I say your name, I'm going to start over. And raise your name. Raise your hand. I'll start here. Megan Slattery, Hawken Anderson, Kurt Borcherding, Chris Guala, Sophia Johansson, Hannah Rinquist, Rachel Runsheimer. Melissa Brand, Christina Rohr. At this time of celebration and transition, hear these words from Holy Scripture, from the book of Psalms, Psalm 71, a prayer for lifelong protection and help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Dear graduates, at this special time in your life, we are eager to show you how delighted we are that you have reached this milestone in your life. As fellow members of this community of faith, we rejoice with you and want you to know that we are proud of you and we're excited for you to move from this accomplishment into the next phase of your life. We also want you to know that wherever you go and whatever you do, you are going forward with our prayers with God for God's continued guidance, power, protection, and strength.
At this time, we would like to present our scholarships. The Alex Thorson Memorial Scholarship was created by Midvale member Marion Thorson to honor her late grandson. The scholarship was open to members of Midvale Community Lutheran Church and this year, uh, who are pursuing post-secondary education. This year, 11 students submitted their essays to Marion, and she was thankful for all of you who submitted your essays, but she chose two individuals to receive this year. First was Katrina Anderson, and I'm asking her brother Hawkins to receive this for her. Congratulations, Katrina. <laughs> and then our second recipient is Christina Rohr. So congratulations to both, congratulations to both of our stores and applicants. At this time, we will present the Harold Wetzel Memorial Scholarships given by Florence Wetzel to honor her late husband. Harold served his country in World War II. He was a prisoner of war in Germany. He survived the prison camp, worked his way through college, and graduated from the UW-Madison with a degree in chemical engineering. He also survived 25 years of cancer treatment at the UW hospital and was never afraid to declare his faith in Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. All high school seniors were invited to apply for this scholarship by sharing an essay of their faith journey. And this year, six of you are recipients of the Harold Wetzel Scholarship. Florence asks that we share this verse with you from Proverbs 6.3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. So I will call you each forward to receive your scholarship. So Hawken Anderson. <laughs> Melissa Bland. <laughs> Hannah Rinquist. <laughs> Christina Rohr. <laughs> Rachel Runsheimer. And Megan Slattery. We have two special gifts for you on behalf of the congregation. First, each of you will receive a treasure box. Our youth and family committee worked on collecting prayers and hopes from members of the congregation and putting them in these boxes. We invite you to take these with you to college and pull out a prayer whenever you need to be reminded of those who are loving and praying for you. The second gift from the congregation is a gift from the Midvale Quilters, who have worked together to make a special blanket just for you based on your favorite colors and interests. At this time, we'll call you forward to receive your quilt, and then once you receive it, you can make your way back to your family. Um, and then, okay, and uh, even though it's a little warm today, I know these quilts will be a, a wonderful mm -hmm. thing in our Wisconsin winters or wherever you are in the cooler days, and it's a reminder that you are wrapped up in God's love and sent on your way wherever you are, you have that love with you. And so the first uh, quilt here is for Hawken Anderson. So Hawken, if you want to come forward. And then we have for Melissa Brand. And this one is for Megan Slattery. And Hannah Rinquist. Rachel Runsheimer. Kurt Borcherding. Sophia Johansson. And Chris Rommel Guala. Christina Rohr must be left. <laughs> and then as we move to this next point, we invite you to uh, open up the quilts. And we will ask parents uh, to wrap 
the blanket around the shoulders of your child, or if you aren't comfortable with that, you can just place your hands on your child's shoulder in blessing. And we'll give you a moment to do that and then ask you to repeat these words after me in blessing for your child. Dear friends in Christ, there was a day when your parents held you in their arms and rocked you to sleep. They cuddled you in a blanket to keep you warm, safe, and comforted. Very soon you will be launching a new life away from the safety and security of this home, family, church, and community. As you go out into the world, may this quilt be a reminder of your parents' love and the nurture of this Christian community. Parents and families, please put your hand on your child's back or shoulders and repeat this blessing after me. First, state your child's name. We come this day before God to bless you and thank God for your life. You have given our family a deeper meaning and calling. Through you, we have experienced God's love, joy, and forgiveness. Wherever you go, whatever you do, my love goes with you. You will always be part of my heart. May this quilt remind you of the warmth of my love, the care of this faith community, and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And on those nights when I cannot wrap you in my arms, wrap yourself in this quilt and know that in God's family, you are never alone. And then I invite you to make the sign of the cross as a blessing on your child. And now we will ask uh, the graduates and parents to switch places in blessing and Pastor Katie will lead this next part. Unless you want to stay with Christina, Katie. You want to stay? Okay. And now as you switch places, um, let's, uh, let's see. I, I'd like your child to place your hands on your parent's shoulder now. And you are going to bless your parent. State the names of the people gathered with you or state your parent's name. And repeat after me. You have given over your heart and you've given of your home. You have loved and cared for me even when it was difficult. Today I honor and thank you for your courage, patience, wisdom, and love. Wherever I go, and whatever I do, I will always be your child, blessed by your love. I thank God for I thank God for blessing my life with you. And now you can make the sign of the cross on your parents or parents. And now receive the blessing of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. 
And now he prepares for the congregation to come by and celebrate you. So please stand outside your vehicles and place your name cards somewhere visible. We're asking cars to drive slowly, but be mindful of their surroundings. And we've asked all of you to wear masks. If your windows are open, we encourage you all to remain masked during this time. And as you get ready for the parade, everybody, um, just remember, we're wearing these masks, but we are really celebrating today. And we know that behind these masks are a lot of smiles right now. So let's start the parade. parade might be a bit of a trickle. We told families to get here about 10.30, so some of them are just arriving, so just kind of be aware that people might trickle into the next few 